Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. We'll talk about breadth first search algorithm in today's session. Before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with our agenda for today's session. Our agenda begins with the explanation of what exactly is breadth first search algorithm. Followed by that, we will look into an example of breadth first search algorithm for greater comprehension. First, we'll build a breadth first search algorithm which begins by traversing the root node and then moves on to all the other nearby nodes. The breadth first search approach repeats the procedure for all the nodes until the desired node is found. The Q data structure is the data structure that is used for breadth first search algorithm. For a better understanding, we'll look at an example of breadth first search algorithm. The blue color indicates that the node has been already explored, while the pink color indicates that the node has not been explored yet or visited yet. Next, we'll have our output. We will use a queue data structure to keep track of all the nodes visited and all the nodes that are unvisited. So, to begin, let's look at the algorithm. As a result, we'll have node A which is added to the output and marked as visited. We must verify all the unvisited adjacent nodes of A, that is node B and node C, and add B and C nodes to the output and NQ to the Q according to the breadth first search algorithm. Then we'll look at any node between B and C. We'll start with node B. Node D is unvisited adjacent to node B, so we'll add node D to the output and Q. And since node B is now being visited, we'll DQ it. When it goes to node D, the next unvisited node is node E. Add node E to the output and NQ to the DQ. Once node D has completed its traversal, DQ from the Q. Now, in the case of node E, the adjacent node is node C, which is already visited. Thus, we will DQ node C from the Q. Now that the pointer is pointing to node C and node F is the next unvisited node after the node C, we will set node F to output and Q. Here, the pointer leads to node F, which has no unvisited adjacent nodes. So, we will DQ F from the Q and Q is empty. So, we will come to the halt here. Here is what we got, that is A, B, C, D, E and F. After understanding all the theoretical aspects of BFS algorithm, let's look at the code of BFS algorithm in C programming language. Now, we are on the practical mode. On my screen, you can see an example for BFS algorithm. We have declared a two-dimensional array with maximum row and column size of 10 and two arrays. The first one is a square of a maximum size of 10 and the second one, which is a visited, that stores the maximum size of 10 as well. Some variables n, i, j and finally, we declared front, which is initialized with 0 and rare variables, which is initialized with minus 1. We perform a loop from index 1 to the size of an array visited in this function with the condition that if two-dimensional array of column 1 and visited array of index is not 1, we initialize variable i to the front of the queue. Then 1 is set as the front of the queue index of the visited array and we use the breadth first search function with the vertex as the front of the queue until front is less than or equal to rare. Then we enter the main function where we define the variable x that stores the graph's vertex and then we use the printf function to enter the number of vertex that will be stored in variable n. Then we perform a loop from index 1 to q size and visited array in which we initialize 0 to the q and index 1 to the visited array. Then after that we will enter the graph value in the form of matrix of two dimensional array by performing the loop with two variables i for the graph row and j for the graph column. Then we print the source node which is saved in the variable x. Then we print the source node which is saved in the variable x and we call the breadth first search function or method which takes a vertex x as parameter and we print which nodes are reachable by looping from index 1 to the size of the visited array. If index 1 of the array is visited, otherwise breadth first search is not possible. So this was the explanation of the program. Now let's try to execute and see the output. There you go. The program got successfully compiled and now it's asking for the input. Now it is asking for the number of vertices. Let's enter the number of vertices as 3. 
Now it is asking for us to enter the input in the form of matrix. So the first row will be 1, 2 and 3. So these are the first rows. The next rows will be 2, 3 and 4. So the last row elements are 3, 4 and 5. So we have successfully given all the three rows of elements. Now let us select the source node. So the source node would be 2. Now all the nodes that are reachable from the source node 2 are 1, 2 and 3. So there you go. That's how you implement the breadth first search algorithm. Now with that we have come to an end of this tutorial on breadth first search algorithm. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session or if you need the code that we executed in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.